This morning in my hour Bible study that I go to on Friday mornings, we got talking about a big word in Christian circle called sanctification. For those of you that don't know what sanctification means, um, my version of it is basically saying that sanctification is the process by which we grow closer and closer to Christ. Um, I liken it kind of like uh, when you accept Jesus as your Savior, uh, you've got a lot of stuff in your life, a lot of stuff that Jesus just needs to take care of, uh, habits that he needs to help you break, uh, attitudes that he needs to help you break, uh, forgiveness that he needs to help you to do, uh, just a lifestyle change. And the thing is, with that, we need to remember is that lifestyle change doesn't come overnight. <clears throat> Maybe some of you have noticed that, uh, you know, you... You want to change, but you don't change. And I love what the Apostle Paul says in one place. He says, the things that I hate doing, I find myself doing. The things that I I love to do and I want to do, I find myself not able to do it. And the process by becoming more Christ-like is that, to me, it's sort of like we want to reflect Christ. I think of a mirror. And if a mirror is uh, dirty, uh, you need to clean that to be able to get a better view of yourself. In the same way in your life, you need to get a better view of, of Jesus. And the best way to do that is cl- to clean the mirror, to get rid of all the grind, the grunge that keeps you from seeing that. So anyway, we were talking about that. We were talking about the the fact that, you know, we sin, we fail, we struggle. Uh, we try to believe in God the way he wants us to, but it doesn't work for us. And uh, one of my friends brought up a, a, a really cool point. He says, you know, sometimes in our lives we just need to be able to hit the delete button. And I got thinking about that. I don't know about you, but if you've ever been working on a computer or working on something on a project and uh, you decide to start over or whatever and you want to delete something, and sometimes you'll get a message that will say something like, uh, are you sure you want to delete this? Because if you delete this, there's no going back. There's no way that you're going to be able to redo it. Once you delete this, it's gone forever. That's what our sin is like, guys. You see, Jesus, uh, the Apostle John writes in 1 John 1, 9, he says, If we confess our sins, he's faithful and just to forgive us our sins. And once those sins are forgiven, they're gone. It's like hitting the delete button, seeing the sign that says, If you want to delete this it's going to be gone forever and you hit the okay button and that sin is gone now sometimes satan is going to try to remind you of the fact that you sinned but that's not guilt that's false guilt that's the enemy trying to keep you down trying to keep you from living in the freedom that you have in jesus so let me encourage you by this if you sin and you will if you're struggling with anything and you probably are because i am uh, we can go to god and we can ask through jesus christ to have him forgive us and that sin is gone we hit the delete button and it's done any other reminders of that is a reminder of the enemy that you're a failure and you know what you are not a failure you may fail but you are not a failure. You may sin, but you are not a sinner because of Jesus. He's the one that cleanses you from all unrighteousness. And he is our righteousness. It's not about what we do. It's about what he's done for us. Think about those things today as you go through the day. Your sins are forgiven. Don't allow shame and false guilt to keep you trapped. Ask for forgiveness, and it's gone. Hit the delete button, hit OK, and you can't go back. Have a great rest of your day.